Hi guys and welcome to this episode of Cake. Today we are making this cute Easter egg nest cake. Let's get started. Hey guys, today I've decided not to show my face because let's be honest, we're on quarantine and ain't nobody wants to get out of pajamas and actually put on makeup right now. So let's just get on with this cute little cake so we can make it this weekend for Easter because we all know we have nothing else to do this weekend. So I started by making a 9x9 nine nine inch rainbow sprinkle cake and then cut it into four 4x4 four four squares. I purposely use a 9x9 nine nine inch pan instead of an 8x8 eight eight because the cake always shrinks a little and you can also cut off the edges so that you'll have a perfect 4x4 four four cake. I stacked and filled the cakes with Swiss meringue buttercream and dyed it a mint green color. I then gave this kid a crumb coat and put it in the fridge. After 30 minutes, I gave it another coat. Now honestly, I normally use boards at the top and bottom to make sure that the square cakes are lined appropriately. And as you can see here, there's a reason I do that. But because this wasn't a normally sized cake, I didn't have the boards at the ready and I decided to just freehand it. It is possible, totally possible, it just takes a lot longer. So after a while, I decided to just leave it the way it is and put it in the fridge and fix it in the morning. Now morning came and my icing was even brighter mint green. That's what happens when you leave SMBC for a while. It soaks up all the color and it becomes an even richer color. So I added more SMBC to make the cake a bit darker because I like this color even more and iced it again. I wasn't really too fussed about making the edges perfect because I was putting ganache on the edges anyway. But if you need those perfect edges in your life, you go get them. Then I made the nest. I had this sweet potato vermicelli on hand. I have no idea why I had this at home. But when in quarantine, you do with what you have. I must have bought it because I thought it would be healthier. And lo and behold, I never actually ate it. And it was hella annoying to actually break up. I had to take a break to actually clean the flyaway pieces off the floor before my kid tried to eat them. This actually works, so I would assume that it would work even better with vermicelli or with shredded wheat or with regular spaghetti. It's not something that you're actually gonna end up eating anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I then melted some milk chocolate in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time until it was melted. I poured it into the dry noodles and mixed them together. I then put saran wrap underneath it at the bottom of a bowl and shaped it into a nest. I grabbed one of my baby's toys, one of the balls, and wrapped it up too in saran wrap and then put it in the middle so that it holds its shape to look like a nest. Then I put it in the fridge until it hardened. I then had some Cadbury Easter eggs and before putting them on, I decided to separate them. This was oddly satisfying, until I realized there was an oddly disproportionate amount of greens in this bag. So I just had to go with it. I started putting the eggs on the side of my cake and did two rows of green, one row of pink, yellow, and blue, and then again, two rows of green. It was also a bit frustrating that it wasn't a complete rectangle with the way that the eggs were lining up with the edges of the cake. I just had to suppress my inner perfectionist tendencies here. I even tried cutting the eggs. That didn't work either. For the ganache drips, I used candy melts, which is white chocolate, at a 3 to 1 ratio with some heavy cream and melted it together and let it cool. I let mine cool a little too much but it still worked. It's worse if you don't let it cool enough.
Then just add the nest on the top of the cake and top it off with some mini eggs. I'm so happy that the nests totally work. Impressive. And voila, here's your work of art. Not bad, eh? Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please don't forget to give this video a like and please subscribe to this channel for more cakes, bakes, and tips. Happy Easter!